What's your two cents on Shanahan's decision to keep the ball to start overtime? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was, you know, crazy in the moment, and I still feel that way. I think the world of Kyle, he's one of the best coaches I've ever been around. I think he's one of the best coaches in the NFL. I feel awful the fact that he's lost three heartbreaking Super Bowls to the greatest quarterback ever and the greatest quarterback ever. Okay. So, <laughs> you know, um, so I feel terrible for him in that regard. I still think he's one of the best. He, here's the, I've heard a lot of people say stuff of, you know, well, we wanted, like Kyle said, we wanted to make sure that we got the ball first on that third possession. We wanted the ball in the third possession. Completely understand that. People said, well, the defense was gassed. They needed a break. Completely understand that. You, it's Patrick Mahomes. Really, any other quarterback outside of him, I, I can probably sit here and have the conversation to justify what they did. It's Patrick Mahomes. One thing you never want to do is give th the best player on the planet a do-or-die situation one extra shot. That's what they did. When you take the ball first, you give them an extra down. They know they have to get what is necessary or they go home. And that's why I sit here and I say, you can give me all the analytics and what I feel the same way I did about Dan Campbell and the field goals. Who we are and who we're playing against matters. How that game is going matters. Patrick had gone, just gone right down the field at the end of regulation, Rich. And the only reason that they kicked the field goal was his time, not because it got to fourth and goal. Yeah. So you just watched him go down the field and to think, well, he's, he was hot at that moment. So, um, yeah, I, I still think because of who you're playing against, that has to trump all, you know, the, what, what the numbers or the analytics or the, you know, the ph philosophical thoughts of that are. I don't know. I mean, because I, I go, I've been going back and forth on this as well. I, I didn't think much of it at, at the time either. Because, you know, we've had a bunch of coaches on talking about this subject matter more than uh, more than this year. It was last year when they when they made the change. John Harbaugh said essentially his first thought would be to keep the ball first because you if there's no blood, get the ball first in a sudden death situation. But don't you think that if they had given the ball to Mahomes first and he had just marched down the field and he scored the inevitable touchdown, let's just say that yep. even without that extra fourth down situation that you yep. just rightfully pointed out. And then the Niners have to go for it on fourth down instead of kicking a 50-yard field goal because they have to go for it on fourth down and don't make it. Don't you think Shanahan would be roasted right now about, wow, why'd you give the ball to the best guy on the planet after he just damn near scored on you? No? I wouldn't. I wouldn't have because – Rich, the philosophy is you once, you once you take the ball first, you give control, final control of the game away. And here's what I do know. Um, the Kansas City Chiefs had third and one or fourth and one somewhere in the third quarter backed up in their own area. And I they ran with Pacheco and he got stumped. And I was like, I wonder if Andy Reid will go with this. They had not done anything on offense for the most of the day. And I was like, just to try to create some energy, they punt the ball away. So they had shown us like, hey, if we do get to that fourth and one in somewhat of our area. Now, they may not have, but they did it earlier in the game. And they, I, I watched Kyle not too far before that go for it on fourth down, and Purdy throws the out route to George Kittle. I, I just, I would have never roasted Kyle if, if, if I would have one hundred percent said, "You give the ball to the other team first. You then keep control." Like we, 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 we. It's hard to quantify rich urgency. Like it's hard to put what the what value of urgency is on it. There's a reason why some guys play better when they have no other choice. I remember saying this about Matthew Stafford. Matthew's one of the best late game quarterbacks in the last 20 years, two minute drives all then. They I'd asked why I say, cause he has no other choice, but to, and Patrick is in that world. Patrick is, why does he play his best? Cause he has no other choice, but to do that. Now we don't know if that's Brock Purdy, but we don't know if that's Kittle or Debo or McCaffrey. And so um, I just would have wanted to, I would have wanted to pen last and, and specifically, especially versus Patrick Mahomes, I would want the pen last. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.